In Q1 2024, all the regions except Asia saw a continued increase in chromo production on a yearly basis, uh, with a total uh, output growing by uh, 4% um, to 9.7 million tons. However, in a quarterly comparison, uh, the figure dropped by 6%, uh, which is attributed mostly to lower production, first of all, in South Africa, as well as Southeast Middle, uh, uh, CIS Middle East and uh, Europe, uh, which could be explained by lower consumption in China and continued weakness in uh, other markets on a quarterly basis uh, for uh, the uh, lower consumption in China, I mean. Uh, the 7% increase in South African production in uh, 2023 that was uh, previously demonstrated uh, was insufficient to cover the exports, which grew by 27%, and the consumption uh, by uh, the local smelters, even though the later decreased by 12.6% on uh, lower fair chrome production in South Africa. Producers uh, not anticipating such dramatic increase in exports were unable to ramp up output quickly enough and had to resort to utilizing inventories. In uh, the first quarter of this year, uh, the gap between production and the combined total of exports and internal consumption widened even further. This growing disparity suggests further distocking in South Africa and potential supply chain constraints. Now let's examine uh, the ongoing cha challenges and opportunities as well as potential new ones. On one hand, there is a steady demand in, uh, from China, uh, expected to remain robust on a yearly comparison with a projected increase in ferrochrome capacities in Inner Mongolia uh, by 1 million ton per year in uh, this year, uh, translating to approximately 2.4 um, million ton of additional chrome ore demand. Conversely, demand for chrome ore from other regions remains subdued, but the steady demand from China could significantly um, outweigh this. To meet China's growing needs and uh, maintain market share, South African producers may want to increase production. However, this presents several issues. Few expansion projects or plans have been announced so far. Uh, several uh, key chrome ore producers have voiced uh, higher production guidance for this year, which would collectively add approximately 1.2 uh, million tons of chrome ore this year. However, the mining of UG2 ore as byproduct of uh, uh, platinum group metals may be reduced due to unfavorable market conditions and high costs affecting the PGM sector. So far, uh, many leading PGMs producers uh, have announced job cuts and are postponing new projects. And even though prices uh, for PGMs have stopped falling amid stronger demand uh, um, as of now, the a possibility of a turnaround in this market is uncertain for this year, as uh, reported by market sources. Uh, as demonstrated in the previous slides, in the first quarter of this year, we already see an overall chrome ore production reduction in South Africa on a quarterly basis, and on a yearly comparison, only a marginal 1% increase. South African producers' shipping capabilities could be uh, limited by the country's uh, logistical constraints. Uh, South Africa's railways and ports have limited capacities for now, and uh, backlogs uh, remain uh, a problem, uh, forcing exporters to reroute a large portion of their shipments uh, via the put, uh, port of Maputo in Mozambique. Now let's take a closer look at the ferrochrome market. As previously mentioned, uh, high carbon ferrochrome prices have been declining from the elevated levels seen in Q2, Q3 2022. Although the prices seem to be range bound in recent months, uh, the pressure remains due to muted demand in the in EU and the US, inflationary pressures, increased supply from India, and the stocking done by uh, Russian alloy suppliers. In China, uh, despite rising consumption, ferrochrome prices have been trending downward. Uh, this is due to the in uh, increasing utilization of uh, existing um, ferrochrome capacities and the continuous launch of new ones, um, which uh, uh, causes the oversupply in the market. We will look into this uh, a bit later. 
While ferrochrome production was somewhat subdued in Q1, Q3 last year, staying below the 4 million ton mark per quarter, there was a notable increase in Q4 by almost 10%, primarily uh, due to accelerated production in China and South Africa. In uh, 2023, uh, the total global ferrochrome output increased by 4% to 16.2 million ton. The production of all grades except uh, low carbon ferrochrome uh, saw an increase. Uh, largely driven by high output in uh, China and India. Uh, Chinese uh, uh, smelters in particular uh, achieved an all-time high production of 7.36 million ton uh, of high carbon ferrochrome in 2023, marking a significant 14% uh, increase uh, year on year. Driven by strong demand from stainless steel producers uh, and supported by the lifting of pandemic-related re uh, restrictions early in the year. Uh, in the first quarter of this year, the production dropped by 3% uh, on a quarterly basis to 4.2 million ton, with all major producers, including China, lowering output. However, in a yearly comparison, the figures remain higher by 6%. South Africa's and Zimbabwe's cumulative uh, ferrochrome production decreased by 9% in 2023 to 3.9 million ton due to uh, rising uh, electricity prices, electricity shortages and an unfavorable market uh, pricing environment. Uh, consequently, some companies prefer to produce chrome ore while curbing ferrochrome output, given the attractive chrome ore prices and high demand from, for ore from China. In uh, Q1 2024, the ferrochrome production decrease in, in Africa continues by 2% quarter on quarter and 16% year on year to 970,000 tons on lower demand from China. Meanwhile, uh, China's ferrochrome production is growing despite a small dip in output observed uh, in, um, uh, in the first quarter. Uh, compared to the fourth quarter of 2024, uh, as can be seen on the right chart, in uh, a Q2 production increases by 21% quarter over quarter, reaching almost 2.4 million ton. And as a result, in the first half of the year, uh, the total production in China reached uh, 4.38 million ton, which is above 28% uh, uh, above a year earlier level. According to the latest reports, however, multiple Chinese producers announced production cuts and stoppages for this, uh, in the summer months, um, faced with low profitability or even lack of it, amid low prices and uh, high costs, as well as subdued downstream market demand and oversupplied fair chrome market, which we will look into a bit later. Despite lower production in 2023, uh, South Africa the production increased by 7% um, in South Africa, but uh, the exports actually increased uh, by uh, 17%, resulting Oh, sorry, uh, that is fair chrome. Despite lower production in uh, 2023, uh, South Africa increased exports by 17%, resulting in an increase uh, in its market share, which was also caused by uh, high demand from China. Uh, the later currently accounts for half of the global imports uh, of um, uh, high carbon ferrochrome, even slightly more than half. Uh, while South Africa, along with India, experienced a rise in exports, all the major high carbon ferrochrome producing countries have seen a drop in exports uh, of 17% uh, uh, um, accumulatively in 2023. A notable decrease was particularly seen in Russia's shipments by 50%. Uh, a uh, which was uh, attributed to lower interest for Russian alloys uh, due to the image risks and the sanctions amid ongoing war against Ukraine. Albania has experienced a 54% drop in exports as production was idled for part of 2023. Uh, in uh, the first quarter of uh, 2024, exports from uh, all the producing countries uh, um, decreased by 15% uh, year over year to 1.68 million tons, with majority of, uh, of uh, the, uh, the exporters experiencing a decline. Uh, South Africa in particular lowered exports by 19% to 1 million ton on slower sales to China and Europe, 
um, this is year over year uh, basis. Uh, nevertheless, South African uh, producers retained uh, their market share in total exports. In uh, 2023, fair crumb production and imports uh, outpaced uh, uh, the stainless steel production in China, leading to an oversupplied market. Even though there has been some shutdowns of all capacities, mostly in the south of the country, the overall production remains high due to the continued launch of new capacities in Inner Mongolia. Uh, in the first uh, half of uh, 2024, stainless steel production in China uh, increased by 11% year on year, as can be seen uh, in the chart, uh, in the um, in the lower chart on the right. Uh, while uh, fair crumb production increased by 28%, and the alloy imports uh, remained above the previous year figures, resulting in the alloy segment surplus increase, which has been pressuring the prices ever since last year.